Hey folks, this is uh, my newest rack I just built about a month ago. Uh, four tens, 40 breeder, 320 talls. Check out. First tank down here we have my L181 peppermint breeders. There's a the female right there. some uh, black salt side corridors in there also this tank is the L519 Kiefner or planet catfish calls them the stone catfish it's also a group of albino gold lasers in there and there's some baby 519s in here also which is really odd because in the last few weeks I have gotten three different spawns from this one group which I've never seen before that quickly very odd they always kick the eggs so I missed the, miss, missed the first batch just found babies in there but I found two more batches of eggs no, has anyone seen that before? Uh, last tank, this is the L-159 uh, Luzia. It's another ancestor species. And then there's some uh, Corydoras duplicarius breeding group in there. Uh, 40 breeder. Right now this is uh, just Corydoras growing out. Few longfin pandas in there, duplicarious, gold laser, stirby, and there's uh, some simulus in there also. A couple random guppies. Alright, up top, we got the beautiful Corydoras Equus. Here we are, very lovely Cory. Trying to get them to breed. I know they're the hard, harder one to breed. You really have to trigger them, so I'm working on it. Alright, let's take this is Corydoras napoensis, the Rio Napo Cory. There's quite a few different sizes in here. Most of them are hiding. Next tank, we have the Kobotai, green Kobotai Reservoir. I'm about to move them. Hopefully they've dropped some eggs and all this travel mouse for me. And this last tank, you probably can't see them, but there's some uh, blue carry tetras in there. Hopefully dropping some eggs for me. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.